everyone is doing fine so this is gonna be a weird video i guess it's a story time video one might call it or like help me figure out what the fuck is going on with my planned video so yeah let's get into it so it all started like i don't know half a year ago or something i really wanted a philodendron spermiferum it's like quite common philodendron nowadays it has like the fur petioles and like big fancy oak leaf leaves kinda. So I bought one uh, on the Swedish website Tadera and it unfortunately died in transit, the, the, the cutting. So I contacted the seller and she was like, ah oh, shit, I understand, that sucks because she had like placed the heat pack way too close so it had totally burned the plant so it was completely dead. So she was like, ah, oh, don't worry about it, I'll just send you two new ones free of charge. And I sent her like, I paid the postage for it because I wanted it to be nice kind of. So I got two cuttings of a philodendron scormiferum and when they arrived, during winter that is, they were pretty bad shape as well uh, and long story short, one of the cuttings died, the other one actually slowly but surely rooted. So what I did was, was I placed both cuttings into like a soil aeroid mix with a lot of water and I placed it in my herbital with a lot of heat and medium light and high humidity pretty much and I just let it, let it sit there for like ever and after I don't know like a long time like one of the cuttings started to grow like shoot out roots and everything and I think I got like maybe oh, I don't know it maybe took like two months or something but it took a long time anyways and during this time like it only had one leaf left uh, and I can show you on a photo here of what that looked like. So anyway, so it had that one leaf and I was like, I'm not gonna shop this leaf. It's an ugly leaf, but it needs a, the leaf for like energy and everything. So I was just like, left, let it be, let it do its thing. And it started to grow slowly but surely. And like I had placed the node very far down into the soil. I don't know why I just did it. I should probably have placed it way higher up, but anyways, I did place it way down in the soil. And and finally I saw that it started to grow and had a new shoot coming up and everything. And when the shoot came up, it was completely white. And I thought to myself that it's probably due to the lack of light because usually I know don't know if you have seen this, but if you have like if you place a big piece of wood or a rock or anything on a, on a lawn, you can see that the grass after a while gets totally white underneath. It's because it doesn't produce any chlorophyll for energy production so and I thought that, that was what had happened due to like the shoot growing in like complete darkness in the soil it was just white and it would get its color black as soon as it hit the light and spoilers this was not the case so the first leaf came up and it unraveled and it was completely white and it was very generic shape and everything and I was like oh that's fine it's probably gonna turn green later or sooner or later pretty much and then the next leaf came it was also white then the third leaf came, it was also white. And now it was painfully obvious that it was not due to the soil. So I'm gonna show you it now. So this is the guy. So I'm gonna gently try, that's the first leaf that came up. And it has a bit more green now, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, and then this is the second leaf that came, even more white than the first one. And then this one, and this is the newest guy, which is, to be frank, a bit green. And also, I did chop off the old leaf, um, because it was just so janky and old and, like, kind of ugly. And it was kind of inconvenient when I tried to place it somewhere. I had this big leaf sticking out. But, as some of you might think, this looks like a Florida ghost. It is not a Florida ghost. Or, well, I did not buy a Florida ghost. The cutting that I got was a Squimiferum. And I've been going through this all over in my head, thinking it through. It was Squimiferum when I got it. So the actual stem that I got was furry. I don't have a photo of the actual stem. I have a photo of the leaves that fell off the stem due to like the stress of transit. There they are. Obviously, like Squimiferum leaves. I also have a photo of the mother plant, which was placed in the uh, in the ad of the actual cutting. It looks like this. Also, obviously, squamiferum. This was a squamiferum that I got. 
I have even contacted the seller to make sure that like, are you sure it was a scrummy farm? I will not be angry if it wasn't a scrummy farm, if you accidentally sent me a photo goes, but was it a scrummy farm that I got? And she was like, yes, I sent you a scrummy farm. Actually, she sent me three scrummy farms. Because the first one died and I got two more and then one of those died. So I, this is the only one left. She sent me a fucking squirmy farm. This is it. This is not a squirmy farm. And I have no idea what's like going on. I'm, I'm quite excited. A part of me is kind of bummed because I really want a squirmy farm and I'm not getting it now. Just to, for reference, this is a Philodendron pedatum that is growing in the exact same conditions which also had the same like route so like the the actual node is like way down here and it had to grow up through the soil uh, and those leaves are completely green as you can see same condition same these are literally stand next to each other in the herbital uh, and they are pretty much rooted the same way pretty much the same soil and everything and this is what I got here, so it's obviously not like a condition thing. Furthermore, I don't know, I can't even show you. This is a big Florida ghost, well it's obviously a not super big one. But this is my Florida ghost, I got it just a couple of days ago in the mail. From Gjön Lekstiket, shout out! Um, and as you can see here, like there is a new like shoot coming out. And I don't know, it doesn't have any juvenile leaves. I'm kind of waiting for that. But as soon as like this leaf that is there pops out, I'm gonna compare it to that guy, the, the mystery squamiferum, ghost squamiferum thing, and try to figure it out. What kind of annoys me is that like the photo that I have of the squamiferum leaf, like the adult leaf, on the petiole there, it has lost all of its like fur. And I read that it can do that due to stress. And it seemed like it lost it due to stress because I noticed that the, the more and more fell off as soon as I got it. Like it was very like bad condition, pretty much. And now the petals look exactly like a Florida ghost, like this guy's petals. So it's kind of like I know it looks like a Florida ghost, but I swear to God, when I got it, it was a squamiferum, hands down. I know what a squamiferum looks like. Uh, so at the moment, I guess I'm just waiting for it to like produce adult leaves uh, and adult petioles so I can actually see if it's gonna be furry or not. At the moment, I, I don't know if I can show you this, it's gonna be very hard to see I think. But the petals are sort of like nubby, like reddish and nubby, sort of like an authority ghost. So we'll see if it turns more like to the fuzzy side, to a swimmerfarium fuzzy, or it's gonna stay like a nubby for the ghost type of deal. So yeah, I tried to like Google and like look around in forums and stuff like that to figure out like where, like what's going on pretty much. What I have been told is that a Florida ghost is a mixture between a swimmerfarium and a philodendron Florida, I guess. And I've also been told that it's a mixture between a philodendron squamiferum and a philodendron pedatum, this guy. And I mean, if you look, they are quite similar. Some people say that the, the Florida ghost gene is sort of in there with the squamiferum and it's sort of activated somehow and that's might be what's happened to me, I don't know. So I don't think there is too much more to add to it. If you have any idea of what's going on with my plants, or if you ha this has happened to you, or if you heard of it, or if you have more input or like background on the Florida ghost type of deal, please let me know, cause it's so weird. But like bottom line is that only time will tell what's gonna happen with this plant. I am all in all very excited about this. It's kind of fun to see what the fuck is going on. It's sort of like seeing your plant evolve sounds super weird, rare variegation all of a sudden from like fucking nowhere. And yeah, and I kind of want to like document it as well as I can. If you have any questions or ideas or comments or something like that, feel free to comment them down below or let me know or whatever. I have an Instagram page that you can follow, which is called One More Monstera, where I'm gonna post updates of all my plans and photos. And I do write about this guy. Actually, I don't think I said this. The core reason why I made this video is because I've been writing so many posts about this uh, on like Facebook or on Instagram or other forums or, or like writing to a people 
and I'm kind of tired of like writing it all over and over again. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just make a video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your patience. Uh, take care of yourself, take care of your plans and uh, goodbye.